Well, we're near the uh, old Ford Engineering Lab in the press parking lot, and we're looking for um, for the entrance to uh, what is an enormous Maker Fair Detroit 2011. Dale was invited right after the Maker Faire Bay Area to come to Detroit, and I believe it was by one of the Ann Arbor hackerspaces. And when he got here, he really found an impassioned community that um, it wasn't as bad as everyone said. You know, you know, Detroit's it's, it's over. You know, the fourth largest city in the United States is now just you know, it's, it's crashed. And he really found that there were um, a lot of folks that had come from an engineering family, perhaps. Uh, a strong sense of kind of hands-on of manufacturing that were were in this you know environment yet that yes there were a lot of you know empty buildings but while the outside world saw that as horrible the communities were kind of scrambling to say hey we can start and we can take this and start you know making it our own making space It's amazing that, that um, all of these different individuals share the same values about making community, learning, um, you know, their passion, their spirit is just, it's wonderful. It's not anti-consumerism, it's about being smarter about what you're, about choices. It's about getting to meet people. Like how often do you get to meet, like Carlos, you know, you might see something, but what's he thinking? And why did he use those choices of materials and, um, and you know, looking at them and talking to them, and that's that's the cool thing about this. That again, it's bigger than us, and you know, we're fortunate to be kind of shepherding it. Like every day, I remind myself that. In three, two, one, launch. Thank you.